back. Yeah, we're back for a little bit yeah. behind, but that's yeah. safe. Yeah, yeah. Customers come first. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Happy Good to be on. here. Dynamic Duo Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yes, we're back. So we're here every other week. So something yeah. to look forward to every other week. Well, we have a change coming. Oh, we do. We do. I just wrote right. notes. I wrote notes. Good job. So next week, April, week of April 8th, Monday Night Live with Julia. Do I know what she's doing? No. No, I don't know what she's doing on Monday. No, I don't even know if she knows yet. Actually, she does. She I, does I have the insight. You have the insight? Oh, I course. have the insight. So she is going to be demoing um, with the Mente Chippies, Southern Ridge Chipboard, and Embossing Glazes. Nice. Ooh, okay. So if you didn't hear Brianna on the screen there, it's Mente Chippies, Southern Ridge Chipboard, and Glazes. Nice. Okay. Glazes. Sweet. I love that. It's um, all about the heat embossing. Yeah. That's awesome. Heather's our embossing queen. Love it. So then the following week is Carnival. So there will be neither Dynamic Duo or <laughs> neither Dynamic Duo or Monday Night Live. Yes, because you'll want to join us April 19th and 20th at the Thorn Cliff Community Center. I was going to say Hall Community yeah. Center. April 19th and 20th. So yeah. next week, oh, next week, week after, we're going to be very busy prepping for that. Yes, in fact, the workshop's closed the week of, week after yes. this because we need the space to pack. It's crazy and it's a lot of fun and it's tiring. Come see us for sure. It's, yeah, yeah we're we gonna, enjoy it. I'm doing a demo. You're doing a demo. I haven't planned a demo, but I might. Yeah. We're gonna figure something out. Might come I think in. we should do something. Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah. Anyways, we'll be there. So come see us. So okay. that put a kink in the kind of dynamic duo schedule. It did. So then we come back on the week of the 24th. We're going back, back to dynamic duo. And again, I'm not. I think we have vague ideas of what we're going to do. But I'm not going to announce anything yet in case you guys come up with a better idea. If you have something, an idea, something you want us to uh, demo for you, yeah. chat about, yeah. let us know, drop it in the comments. Yeah. All right, so this week is Sizzix and Spray. Sizzix and Spray. So Sizzix dies and stencils, not including the Tim Holtz vault. Okay, so that just came out, so you know that. New release is never moved now. Nope. Um, so dies and stencils, 33% off. It's a great deal right now. We have a really great selection still. I'm looking at it on the wall here. Yeah. Lots of great options and lots of fun stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, so Sizzix and Spray. So we just thought we'd go hand in hand. These sprays are not on deal, but they're always a good addition to your uh, crafty arsenal of surprise, supplies for sure. Yes. Um, and of course, dies are kind of nice. Yeah, we just want all the things, so we're here to play with that and just chat about it. Great. Um, Nancy, maybe you can bring up on your phone the live so I we can, can so answer we can your see questions. if there's any questions. Yeah. <gasps> see, we're behind. Times. We're just like, oh, we forgot to set up all the setups. All the setups, and then we were busy, and yeah. But that's okay. We like busy. Yeah. We like it's busy. Just, we just feel a little scattered right now. So sometimes we don't get to find details. Yep. Um, so I see a lot of people have been taking advantage of the 33% off on the guys. That is really good. That is awesome. Yep. So, um, I know one of them we still have, oh, just one left. Okay, everybody, Nancy, I know you own this one too. I do, and I want to talk about this one. This is Alphanumeric Bulletin. We have one left, people. 33% off. This is a fabulous die set. Um, it has the alpha and then, of course, the numbers too. And it's got a great little border around them, which I love. You know what? I have this um, since we got it. Yep. And I played with it for the first time last night. Oh, and nice. I am completely in love with this dial. It's the perfect size. Actually, it's it was Julia who got me. I was like, oh, I don't need that one. And then well, she did a money. Alphas aren't really it. popular for dyes anymore. No. I mean, remember back in the day, you get those alphabet sets and they were crazy. They were big, big, yeah. But, you know, I got this and totally fell in love with it. Yeah, fact, for I sure. I made some samples. Yeah, but good. So I still see one on the wall, which I'm surprised there is still one on the wall. Okay, so Darlene wants us to talk about brayers. That's a good idea. Do a tool. Yeah. We could do a tool. Differences between differences yeah. in whys and hows. Uh, this is another one. I still see, I think there's maybe two on the wall. This is another really favorite of mine. This is Blossom. You know, I was eyeballing that one online last night. I do have a sample. Oh. This is one, one of my favorites. That's Blossom. There are tons of ideas online and Pinterest with this one. Mm -hmm. So nice. pretty. And I think a lot of people look at these ones because they're colorized. So the first thing you do is like look at all the dyes included and you're like, ooh, that's a lot. This is not a lot. This is really doable. Yeah. 
I sat down and cranked out a bunch of pieces for flowers in no time, and it's a great focal point for a card. It takes right. a nice chunk of it, right. out of sentiment, but awesome. Okay, so also highly recommend balsam. Awesome. What have you got for samples using the alphanumeric? I played with, okay, so obviously we were playing with sprays, so I made a bunch of backgrounds, and then I thought, how can I turn these backgrounds into some really cool cards? And this is what I came up with. I'm um, just using the alphanumeric. Okay? So that's the only scissors yeah. die I have. Those are great. Well, I have a scissors stencil and a scissors die, but in my stash, I have very generic dies. And we do have a scallop square thinlet left that yeah. I think would highly recommend. Um, to take a look at, but always get your basics. If you have said anything goes on sales and dies, grab those basics. Grab your basics, your layering ones for sure. Yeah. Oh, so but you sprayed this I background. did, yeah, yeah. And then with the negative piece, yeah. you turned it into that. Yeah, yeah. Two so for one, The people. thing about it, actually, it's almost three for one, because if you look, this is what Heather was talking about with that particular die. It's got this outline, where that L is. See, look, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Anyway, so... Then, so I have it tone on tone here, but you could leave it out open, you could do a tone on tone, you can change the colors, you can just use the letters, that's just using the letter. Um, yeah, so this is, I switched it up, I used a, a blue one from a different, I still have letters on my desk, I just cut it out a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a bunch of letters, so. And how easy would this be? So you got a nice big hello, yeah. and then you could just use a thin stamp strip or a die that says happy birthday, or miss you. And I mean, this is of course just one of the words you can create from the alphabet set. Well, the alphabet, I mean, you can create anything. The yeah. only challenge, I'm just gonna mention it, just because it's, but it's a workable challenge, because we like challenges that we can work around. Yeah. Well, that's what crafty people do, we solve problems. Yeah. Right? Or create them. Or create them, yeah. So what I had to do is, remember we talked a little bit, um, I think it was the last dynamic duo, I talked a little bit about making a jig. So I did, I made a jig oh, yeah. up first. So this is, the issue is there's only one L, right? So if I want the word hello, I can't cut it out once. I have to actually have to do it twice. But I, I just created this jig so that I could make it straight on my card. Yep. So now I can put that jig anywhere, line up my dies, run it through, know that it's in the right spot, especially because I'm going to use the best ever spell binders to hold the dies down. That jig, of course. Right? Run it through. Yeah. And then, okay, so there's an L missing, so I'll just do it again. And now I just have this. I'm just actually going to keep this with my, um, I'm going to keep it with my alphabet. With my alphabet, and, and it's ugly. I will never put that on a card. Like it's dirty, it's ugly, it's got tape but on you it. Your own template. But I have a template that I can use over and over, and it actually turned out really cool. It's really neat. Smart, 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 smart. What else did you? What did you get for the demo she used? Um. Oh, a stencil. I got a really weird stencil. I got a stencil too. I used. Now these stencils are big layering stencils. Yeah. They fit like a six by six card front, which of course you trim down. Yes, you can. Um, but this one, watercolor leaves, mm -hmm. and we do have a few of these left in stock. So I got painted nice flowers. Painted flowers. So there's only four, four, was there four in yours? Mm -hmm. Four Something stencils, like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 four layers, sorry, yeah. 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 So, that's one. so that's one I played with. Cool. So, because we were talking about Hi everybody. sprays, Thanks for being here. I was like, and I have to admit, this is not something I tried. It was something that I knew could be done, but I did almost always, when I've done a layering stencil, just use my ink pads and just blended it down. Like, just... Most commonly, most that's right. Yeah. Yep. But I decided, and maybe you did too, I decided to try it with the sprays, and it did give it a different look. More of a watercolor. It totally did. It's kind of a, a painterly... Anyway, this is obviously not finished. You can see the the work needs to be done to create this to a finished card. Now, did you use oxide sprays or spray stains? You know what? I used both. There's a mix in there. Nice. There's a mix in there. Um, and if you want to know the difference, I'm actually just trying to dry up a little sample that I can show. But I actually think I'm going to demo this in a little bit, how I actually did this. So um, I won't talk about it too much more. So I know for a lot of people, you look at the spray. We are huge ink course, ink pad people. Yeah. Um, they do all the things. We love them. But for sprays, I think I find the everyday card maker scrapbooker doesn't lean to them as much because they feel it's more of a mixed media. I would agree. I, I would agree. agree for sure. Yeah. But I also think the 
know, when you're building backgrounds, you're creating some texture layers. Sprays are I would agree not to limit yourself. Yes. I would agree that's the thinking. Of course it is, yeah. It's totally the thinking. Yeah. I'm the same so way. We are. We think yeah. that. But every once in a while, you know, if you grab out those sprays, we've said it before, get them out, make a bunch. Like a bunch of background. That's what I'll do. Like if I'm yeah. watching a good show, but i got to keep an eye on the dogs or something, I'll just kind of just stand the counter and just build backgrounds. Sweet. Check your backgrounds. So with my layering stencil, um, I took a few colors of oxide ink and I just inked it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very, actually, super similar to the sample I was kind of a no-brainer, right? Which, you know what? I don't know that we do that enough. No. I always well, I look at the picture and go, oh, that's lovely. I should but make that. And then I go off on my own way tangent. tangent, right? And I think that I need to create the ideas to make them mine. But yeah. you don't. Please steal ideas and work them. Well, that's why the inspiration is here. Right? Is that right? So then on this background, I just lightly ink blended the background in one color of oxide ink. I use a couple of colors on the leaf, and then for the final layer, which would be the fourth stencil of the layering stencils, I actually use an oxide spray. So you can see there is a bit more of like a watercolor loose image uh, finish to it, which are these little leaves in here. So if I spray it through the stencil, it works. It works. It works. It works. And what I did and what I recommend, um, if you're going to spray through stencils because there's more room, room for air for the liquid to kind of seep underneath, yes. is of course to spray your stencils with your pixie spray. I did that on all of them. I thought, no, I don't want a disaster. I bought the pixie spray because I wanted to talk about it. Um, it's a must. And you can actually see where some of the spray kind of went underneath if you look really close. It did give it a little bit of a weird, and I like if you look right up there, you can see it's kind of spraying off the outline. Um, so yeah, it's not as tight and precise. So the pixie spray really helps, especially if you have finicky stencils. Um, you do this. I think it's I th I I I think it's especially like I can there's you know, a lazy crafter. There's little pieces. This oh. is finicky. So if you go to spray, those you don't really want to hang on to your paper. So there's. Lots of room for the liquid to get around. So I've actually sprayed it so that when I go to push it onto my hard panel, it's going to stick. Yeah, and it's going to add the barrier between. Yeah. Exactly. So you don't get that seepage. So, anyways, which yeah, is really important. highly advised. You can use the best ever craft tape or your washi tape too, but then you'd be using little tiny pieces because you want to get that hold on the finicky parts. Yeah. Whereas the spray is just an all over spray. One Give it like a minute, one and done, and then wash it, reuse it. Sweet. Okay? So that's also sweet, a, sweet, sweet, a sweet, push sweet, for sweet. the spray for sure. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Same with this. I have this other um, stencil in my collection. So this is one. I know we've got some of these also on hand. This is the mosaic flowers. Also another lovely one. I actually think I did a uh, few samples for this one. Anyways. And I did, I inked it with some nice spring colors. And then for that final layer, that fourth layer, um, at first it was like, ooh, stencil butter. And then I thought, oh no, focus, Heather, this is physics and sprays. So then I sprayed it. I just put it in my splat box, which I also recommend if you're spraying anything. Um, especially if you're gonna spray in the kitchen, you don't wanna cover your clean dishes or countertop. Yeah. And I sprayed that last bit. Hey, Joanne, I see your comment that Heather is a bit hard to hear and there's an echo or background noise. So we're going to try to tweak our mic for you and everybody else for that matter. Try to tweak it. We also have a bunch of ladies in the workshop today. Yeah, that's the other thing. Sometimes I wonder if I have the mic the right way. Is that better? Let us know. Let us know if you can hear us better. Let us know. Okay. okay. So spraying sprays through a stencil, I can't say is the easiest no. thing to do. Nope. Um, but the thing is, is, you've got, if you have, oh, it is tweaked. Sweet. Awesome. So better. We tweaked. Need... No. Thanks, okay. thanks for tweaking. Thanks tweaking, for Brianna. <laughs> and thanks, Joanne, for letting us know. Yeah, yes, thank you. super appreciated. Um, but if you have this stash of sprays, um, they're a great go-to. I just wanted to quickly point out the difference between, this is the one of the biggest questions we get in distress. What is the difference between oxide and stain? Can you describe me? Okay, so what is the difference? What is the difference between oxide and stain? Well, tell the people, Nancy. I think I can. You can add in as yep. much as you like. <laughs> Tip the bottom up, you'll see the bottom, okay? So you'll see the stain is kind of a clear, translucent um, ink, and then the oxide obviously has some white additive. That is pigment. 
pigment is not translucent, so it won't be as see-through. So you need to shake your oxide. That's the first thing. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I had that messed up, guys. Oh. There, there. Now yeah, you'll tell the difference. See how vibrant that one is compared to how Woo! chalky that hello. one looks. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to show you the wrong color, but yeah. So this is all. Cho it has a chalky finish when it's done, and this one has a more translucent finish. Yeah. The oxide sprayed and all oxide takes a little bit longer to dry and sits on top of the cardstock a little bit longer. So the blendability is just another level. Does that mean the other one isn't blendable? No, it's totally blendable. Thanks, but sir. there's just a difference. So if you actually look, I sprayed stain on this side and oxide on this side, and this is in Lumberjack Plaid, so it's the exact same color. Can you interchange them? Yes, you sure can. Absolutely. Of course you can. You can. The only thing I wouldn't do is take my brush and put it on an oxide and then put it on the stain. Okay, so you don't want to, yeah. you want to make sure your pads and inks stay clean and separate and tidy and not contaminated. So have a separate set of blending brushes for your distress inks versus your distress oxide inks. Yeah. Yes. Or be prepared to wash between, but who does that? Nobody does that. Nobody. You're not yeah. even Heather. She's the clean one, remember? Yeah. So I have separate. Because I got things to do. Things right? to do. Things to do. And they both react with water. They both Still. react with water. Yeah, so that's They play great. very well the same. They do. And I was doing, um, I was testing some things. So I was unsure what their finish, the spray stain was like, the finish on my mixed media cardstock versus the oxide. I, I hadn't played with them in a while. And I couldn't remember if they were going to dry quite translucent or, or not. Mm -hmm. You know what? The colors on the mixed media are, I love them. So these are spray stains. So they almost dried with a little bit of like a chalky, a chalky finish, but the colors are so vibrant. Very vibrant. Right? Comparatively. Yeah. They are very vibrant. Yeah. So this is what we're saying. Just get out your sprays. Cut up some panels with your um, Vicky Boot Foundations or your Creative Scrapbook or Superstock and just spray. Let them dry. Then you can add another color. Some I did flick with the water. And then I have cut pieces I can continue to build upon for my cards or die cut them out, which I'm going to do with some six dies. You're going to do that? Yeah. So anyways, I do. I love the way they finish. They do have just a little bit of a muted. But, you know, with the mixed media paper, of course, it's very porous. So it's also soaking up a bunch of that. Soaking it up. So anyways, fan of the sprays. Well, I'm a fan of all the stress. Of course we are. Yeah, we are. That's what we are. We are, we are, we are. So, you know, um, a spray through a stencil. That one sprayed really, really well. That's great, amazing. See, the detail in that? So yes, it works, but it takes patience too. Like I said, I took the time to put the Pixie spray on the back of my stencil, mm -hmm. gave it a firm push onto it, yeah. and sprayed it. Yeah. Flicked it with some water. Great way to add layers. Layers, layers, layers. All right. So we also talk about sprays, but I thought, well, we can't omit the gloss sprays from Dino Wakely. These are gorgeous sprays. These babies are not water reactive. Not water reactive. They do not move. Yeah. And then we have these. These are the glossy, uh, what formula? Like with the dropper. So you can paint with these, the, you know, all the things too. Do you know why she switched to that? Why? Because, oh. pe because she found, she would do this. Actually, can we turn the camera down now for demoing time? Yes. Demo time, demo, demo time. time. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do some shaking. And honestly, I tend to find my spray nozzles clogged. Spray nozzles clogged. And the with, other the, thing, with the Dina Wakely gloss, right. I do find that. Right. So, but the thing was, then she I painted it on. Most people well, weren't even using it spray. as a spray. They were doing stuff like this. Just quick, quick, quick. Right like that, yeah. right? Done. Splatter. Done. Right? I could even uh, moisten that and spread it out or let it. Let yeah. it look at that. I already got another technique going right in there. seconds, yeah. right? So, I mean, these will move with water, but once they're dry, they're dry. And the other thing that I know, not from experience or anything, don't get it on your phone. No. Or the front of your laptop. Yes. Well, I have guilt, the guilt color. Yeah, I have guilt, guilt about it too. Guilt. But I have the guilt, <laughs> like gold wow. color of the spray on my uh, front of my laptop. Yeah. Because I was all, you know... Splatter happy and yep. splatter, yeah. splatter around. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, can you see that shiny finish? That's the gloss sprays. 
and I love that. Mm -hmm. And it dries awesome, a little bit of texture to it. So it's also a spray, or like Nancy was showing, how people are using it more as like a dropper paint style. You just get a really shiny finish to that one. So that's yep. the difference. This one I just dipped in my brush, painted it. I thought that would be fun to die cut out, and I just love that. So that's right, and that's, that's the where the spray. dyes come right back in. Because yep. any of these backgrounds that we've been playing with and making while we're messing around with the sprays can turn into amazing things as soon as you cut them with your Sizzix dyes. Yep. Like, that's not thing exciting. I just think that looks like... Uh, it looks like the start of something. It looks like this, looks like uh, somebody spilt their hot dog with ketchup and mustard on my tube. On yeah. my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. But once I cut that and make it shaped, it'll be a cool background. Anyway. Very cool. So this was spray? This one with the... Yes. You know what I did was I just used the masking, the best ever, and I just ran it. Did a, did a spray. Let it and, dry. And yeah, let it dry for sure between. And then I ran another another stripe and sprayed again. And yeah, that's I ended up with some stripies. You know what? The biggest thing we're just trying to enforce with these dynamic duos, just get your stuff out and play with it. Right. Honestly. That is the biggest thing. It is. And you know, we hope that we, we teach you something new or encourage you. Right. A little tip or trick here and there. But essentially, just get the things out, try something, play with it, I, run I say with this it. often in our Explore class and in other classes. Um, I'll say it again, and I'm going to say it again and again and again. It is so much more satisfying to throw away an empty bottle yeah. than to throw a dried up bottle away. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to, I got a couple here that need replaced. That's awesome. You've used it enough that you have to replace it. Right? I mean, how good does that feel as a crafter? It's amazing. You're using yeah. your stuff. So don't covet this stuff just because it's pretty on the shelf. Pretty on the shelf. Looks feels good to have it. It's a feel-good purchase. And then the other side of that is with a lot of like the, you know, pace in particular, use it or lose it. Use it or lose use it. Use it or lose it. Use your your products. You betcha. I just pulled out another sample. I forgot I had this in my stash. This one is brush stroke butterflies how pretty is that one and this card was actually from a take and make i did a long time ago with a wow, different we... um die we're out of but anything would work and just a little butterfly on top could add some dimension in there cardstock some gold anyways this is a really pretty one too and there's not a ton of pieces because if you're like me you're looking to be like oh there's a hundred pieces i don't think so this one was really easy to put together it was easy, actually, to kind of mass produce the butterflies kind of all at once. Yeah. So. But let's be real. If you have three different distress colors, you can yep. spray your cart, your yeah. white card. Sure can. And have, or even have mixes of color. Whereas, so if you don't always have the exact right card stock in your stash. Make it. Make it with your sprays or inks. Yep. Right? Yeah. I bet you that's where you were going, and I just uh, went right in. No scrapbook pages yes you're right Christina so Christina's commenting and this is, we actually talked about we this. talk about this a lot we'd like to see some of these techniques in scrapbook pages cards generally seem to be the focus we actually to be honest I had made a goal to go more scrapbook pages and then suddenly fell back into cards so I'm gonna take your suggestion and go with that yes Christina we're, we're gonna make that happen you but all of these things easily can be you know adapted for your scrapbook pages your art journal pages as right, well right, right. Definitely, definitely. And I think in terms of like the duo side, limited on time and space too. That's is kind of generally part of we it. scale it back for that. Yeah. But no, we're, we're going to commit to that. That we we'll, will start demoing these. Try to bring some yes. more other projects other than Hundred percent, Christina. We really Thank like you very that. Much. We appreciate Great suggestion. that. Great suggestion. This one is scribbly butterflies. Scribbly butterflies. And yes, we still have plenty of these. Love this one too. I love it for the size. And I took some of my Sizzix opulent cardstock in the, ooh, what's that one called? Rainbow? And just yes. die cut it out of that. If you haven't purchased those opulent paper oh. packs, oh my goodness. The bang for your buck with the. Huge bang yeah. for your buck. Even if you buy a pack and split it with a friend, there's still a ton there's in there. There's a ton. But just the detail of the dies die cut really nice. I do find, um, just as a tip, if you're using any of these kind of thicker glitter papers, run it through twice. 
just makes it that much easier to pop all the little I pieces think, out. You know, I kind of a run it twice through girl anyway. Yes. I generally, I've got it all lined up. It's sitting on my pad and the just tape's all it. there. I just do it yeah. twice just to be safe. It's a safe thing to do. Yeah. So anyways, this is a really nice one. Just four dies in there. Easy peasy. How, you know, great right. for... Joanne's agreeing with the scrapbook. All right. Okay, guys, we hear you. We do hear you. We take your suggestions. Yes, we're going to do it. We're making it happen. Okay. So I would like to show how I use the layered stencil through. Love it. Okay? Love it. Okay, so I've got these pre-cut Vicky Booten paper. And I'm going to grab, hopefully. And thank you so much for being here with us today, everybody. I appreciate that. Can't find. Moving on. Okay, so when you actually get the stencils, they are, I mean, you can see on there that it says Sizzix, and then it's the product number, and you cannot see this on camera. I know that, but it's product number dash three. So this is your third layer, okay? Then they're saying this is my second layer. So what I might do when I get a brand new one is actually grab a Sharpie and either kind of right on there so that I don't have to try to read it really close. Or the other thing you can do is just put some ink or paint in there and kind of let it stain into the stencil. And then it becomes easier to read. See what I did there? Now I can just, right. So now I can actually see the two. So that tells me with a layering stencil that um, there's an order. Oh yeah, glory, yes. Heather found what I needed. All right, so I'm just gonna tape this down so that it doesn't move. Cause this, if this moves between things, I'm kinda hooped. Okay. Aw, thanks Tony, we love to see what you do. Aww. We appreciate your support, that's for sure. Okay, so these are for six by six. I have a normal four and a quarter by five and a half card front. So I'm going to try to center my, my, uh, my stencils on the page, but it won't necessarily, obviously it's going to be a cut down version. So I'm going towards this. This is what I'm working towards, okay? So we talked about the pixie spray. So I'll get out my pixie spray. I'm gonna make sure to spray the back, okay? So I was just double checking that the hand, the writing that I talked about that I stained is now facing down. And I'm just gonna, and if you have one of those splat boxes. Yes, oh my gosh, I love my splat box. Yeah, you won't end up with I'm going to do all four right away because you actually want to set your, if you want it, it sounds crazy, but you're setting it to dry, but it's not drying, it's setting it to tacky is the word. Can we do them? Sure. Yeah. Heather's going to finish and do three and four for me. So I've just got one and two ready to go. So I just sit and I put this aside for 30 seconds, a minute, just a little bit and it gets nice and super tacky and people ask us often how do I get it off you can get it off I would just use my scrubby soap and but clean I just it off. leave it but I was just gonna say I there's lots and lots of times that I don't even take it off because nope. I know I want tack on my stencils anyways it's like a post-it note reuse it over and over yeah okay on your layering stencils too the other thing you'll see when you look up close is these layering guidelines okay so I'm gonna go ahead and line up my card in a way that makes me happy but then I know so if I was using the really cool Sizzix tool for this these little notches actually fit but what I'm doing this time is because I'm not using that tool and I want you to be able to use these stencils without that tool I'm lining up my cardstock along this line and then along the right angle line. So there's actually two lines there. So I'm just going to go ahead. That's ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to start light to dark. That's how I'm going to work this because I know that's how the stencil is going to work. So let's start with mustard seed. And that is word to the wise on any layering stencil is be sure 
it, that even if your papers may be smaller than the guidelines given, that you're working with um, a certain order. So like you're working with this corner so and that your next, yeah. yeah, you're orientating it the right way, yeah. the same way so that the layer, you know, is as beautiful as it can be for sure. Okay, so my next tip is light hand because sprays, they want to get under that stencil. They're very fluid, they want to get under there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, I'm going to do this kind of sweeping motion while I, is that a blocker? Yes. I don't want to block the camera, but. Yeah. Okay, so then what I did was I stopped and I just waited a second. So what's going to happen is all of the stencil is going to, is obviously masking off where I don't want the spray to go. But I'm giving the paper a smidgey of a chance. So, so this is a tip just for sprays. I'm giving it a smidgen of a chance for it to soak into the cardstock before I start messing around. Yeah. Then what I did to make sure that I didn't end up oozing any ink, ink underneath, off, of, yeah. off of the stencil and back onto what I was working was I went ahead and I just flatly dabbed off. There. Paper towel. Yeah. Yep, that's what and I did with all of mine too. Otherwise, it becomes just kind of a hot mess to work with. It can be, yeah. And then you get more chance of, you know, that ink seeping underneath too. Okay. So this is the point where I have to be very careful about how I pull my stencil back. Um, and the pixie spray is working really well. The pixie spray is working <laughs> incredibly well because I'm on camera. Yeah. Um, probably even better than it normally does. Yep. All right. Probably. So then we've got. I'll make sure everything's nice and dry if I need to. I would grab out my heat tool, um, but these do dry pretty quick, so I'm just going to keep going. So again, I'm going to orient along the right angle, like that. Okay, so I can see just already that I'm not going to be using the whole stencil. This flower is going to peek cutely around the side. The other thing about layering stencils is if you're not 100% sure that you're lined up, take a quick look at what you're actually layering. So I can see there's a line from the bottom that's kind of, it's not fully masked. I'm going to say that's not properly lined up and give it another go. So there's lots and lots of little clues along the way to help. Yeah, better, better, better. I think if you're trying this, if this is something you haven't done, you know, your sprays with your stencils or, or yeah. whatever, or haven't played with your sprays a lot, don't be in a rush to have a finished project in that, that moment. That makes sense. Just get out the sprays and the things and just Yeah. Play. Don't be like, I need my card for Heather tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to take something I've never used before and make it happen. Right. That never ends well. Never. Right. Never. Just, it's just paper and it's just a bit of spray or whatever. Just play, experiment. All right. So I'm going to use speckled egg next. Nice. I think we have some of the splat box in stock too, and they are not expensive, and I tell you, they are super handy. They are handy, and they fold up nicely, just stick them under your table, they're ready to rock. Yep. Okay. So again, light. I'm not even looking for full coverage necessarily. No, because you, you're getting I'm that kind of... I'm actually trying to look for that... Mixed media water... Paint, your painterly... Painterly look. Not... Yeah. Um, I'm not looking for... This is abstract, right? Okay, again, so I'm just going to take a quick dab, make sure everything's ready to rock. As you can see, Very my cool. flowers are starting to come together. All right, so this is number. I know. This is number four. So nope, that's not ready yet. This one, number three. So again, I'll just line up the bottom corners. So even after I've cleaned the stencil of the spray that Nancy's used, once it's dry, that Pixie, pixie spray is still good for your next project. So yeah, love it. If it bugs you and you have to get it off, I say scrubby, scrubby soap. Yeah, would be the way. But honestly, Joanne, I am the clean freak. She's our clean freak. But the stencils are so handy to have it on there. Anyways, I yeah. would just leave it. In yeah. all honesty. In fact, I'll just stick a cup with like in a pack like yeah. this. Stick the two together. They'll slide into go your in packaging. Sleeve. Good to go. Yeah. Ooh, that color's nice. Nice, again. So my found with this, a little more patience than I'm normally used to. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Let's be real. Let's, I let's do tend be to rush real. these things. I think people are starting to get to know our personalities anyways, right? <laughs> right? Yep. Right? So I do. I found the waiting in between and dabbing was the key for this. Otherwise, I think I would have had a miserable mess. But again... Oh, my. Pretty. Nice, nice, nice. Let nice. me clean for you, lady. She's got to clean. I need a... I need a... I need you need a, a me at home? I do. I need a... I need, <laughs> just... But... But I mean, I know you're a busy woman, and <laughs> so maybe we could clone you. <laughs> Don't think that'd be a great thing. She's like, ah, how many knees do you need? All right, just because I did say, well, I don't know, actually. Sorry. Ooh, decisions, decisions. So far, what do you have? Like a yellow, a light blue? Yeah, it's going to go kind of a bit dark, tealy. maybe, or prize ribbon, or... That's apparently you like that one? Apparently I did. Price the other ribbon. one might be kind of fun is actually that would be fun. Go for it. Ooh, Kitsch that might be kind of fun too. Oh that's spray. Do you want to use That's what I was stain? wondering. Should I try the spray stain? Because we it. said we can inter interchange. But I could also Don't get the spray it. stain for the lumberjack. Let's not overthink it. Okay, stop overthinking. Right. Right. Right, Monica? Yes. Don't overthink it, just create. Lovely. Nice. So that one I didn't have to shape because it's a stain. Remember that. Okay. So I'm just going to just let that sit. All the things. Yeah, I know. Let that sit again. Here. Take a quick breath and then run a towel over top. Just, but flat. I'm not. There we go. Oh, the locked room's going again. Ugh. You can tell when the kids are out of school, that's all you hear is that noise from next door. Okay. That is cool. That turned out all right. So it's very, it's a very different look. It's definitely not as precise. No. Nope. You're not going to get that precise lines and fine detail. You but get you get this really cool painterly look. That's Absolutely. so fun. Abstract. Anyway. But you still have the definition with the sprays. The definition so you're not there. losing it. It's not gone. Nope. Yeah. Love, love, love. Oh, okay. Throw that one in here, Nancy. Throw it in the wash place. Yep. All right. Do you have any? Oh, yeah. Melanie says, love it. Lynn says, pretty cool. You have the sprays. Don't be just pulling them out for your art journals, which I think a lot of people do. I think so, too. I, I think, think so they too. just, you know, you think that that goes hand in hand, but... It does not have to be. It's Absolutely. all the things. Absolutely. It's with paper. It works. Okay, ladies. That alphanumeric die set is still sitting there on the wall in front of me, and I am so surprised. I'm a little stunned by that. Yeah. It's really three alphabets in, in one. one. And it's 33% off today. Dun, if dun, we both dun. love it, Julia owns it. I actually think most of us own that one. We weren't even willing to share that Not one. willing to share. If we're not willing to share it, you know. That's a good sign. It's a must that we all need it. Do you have the fourth piece for that? Oh, never mind. I'm washing. I don't know. What do we do? We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. All right. So, um, it says it's dyes. Well, there's not, you know, the dyes are pretty self-explanatory, too. Uh, what was the name of the paper you used for the butter? Ooh. Oh, oh. June Maria, I have to go grab it. Hang okay. on. So she's running to grab the Sizzix Opulent cardstock packs. They come in eight and a half by 11, and it's quite a stack of cardstock. And they come in these color families. So there's gold, which has a, I don't know if we even, I shouldn't talk yet. I don't know what our inventory is, but um, lots and lots of cool different colors. Here we go. She's already here. Found it. Look, we were looking for that. Oh. Huh. All right. Okay. Sizzix Opulent Cardstock Packs. These packages are awesome. Uh, five card type. So you get different textures and finishes for a total of 50 sheets. Like they're jam packs. And what are they? $30.75 each. So this is the silver combination. The butterflies I cut. This is out of the mystical. Which is my favorite. Oh, I just love it. Mm -hmm. And I actually brought a piece of each to show you in person. Because look at all those. Glitter ombre, glitter holographic, iridescent, holographic mirror. So that's yeah. all in there. 50 sheets. 
and it die, die cut awesome. But like I said, do run it through a couple times. Right, but I mean Sizzix. I mean, they're gonna stand behind their product, make sure it's good. Of course, gold. I think I'm on my second package of gold, in all honesty. Because it's a great everyday one, and of course gold. I use a ton at Christmas, right? Yeah, right. Gold. I Sorry, it is not on sale today, just the Sizzix dies. But we had to talk about it. Yep, Sizzix charcoal. This is awesome. Love that. Oh, and I thought I'd grab black, but we have, I think we have black, gold, silver, charcoal, the mystical. Right now we are out of the ivory and the rose, rose gold. gold. Yes. Yeah. But, but, yeah, June Marie mystical. Love, love, love. And I'm just going to show you a close up of some of those colors. And, um, yeah, so that was them. Like I said, what was this? This was. Um, that one. So we'll just talk about these. Everything is sticking together. Yeah, that's the pixie. That's the way it goes. Okay, Ooh. so this is the mystical. That was the top piece you saw on the package there. Mystical's already out of stock. No, we have one. Well, you somebody want to bought it. Count? We're checking. Holographic. Ooh, Ooh that's that weird on camera. Bizarro. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's one, there's one up there's here. There's one up got it. Hand. This guy. It's in the pile. Oh, by the tail. This one. Yeah, these are awesome, like, for your die-cut sentiments, for your die-cut pieces. Like, think about the possibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah someone bought it. Somebody just bought it. Huh? Don't worry, we'll get more, we'll get more. We will. And we this will. one I thought is so pretty too with this ombre. Anyways, big fan, big fan. And the gold, oh, you have to have the gold. I think, mm. right? Yeah, and don't bother splitting. No, just, just, get, just get don't, don't, don't for yourself. Package, yeah. Just be that way. Yep, I'm not sharing. No. I was really happy with how these turned out. I love that. Yeah, I love and that with the, the spray. Yeah, I use the spray. I did ink blend these with my uh, ink tools. Yeah. But the spray turned out nice. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, combine your spray stains with your oxide sprays, absolutely, or your oxide ink pads with your spray stains, like all of the things, work, they work well together. And then this, I don't generally make a card this size, but how easy to just cut down, right? Right. Yeah. Right. For sure. Um, I could show something, but... Really, I was just spraying backgrounds too. Um, we really were just happy to see this as a size on for 33% off. I have to be honest. That yeah. was, I'm going to yeah. grab the one off the wall and show you which one I'm going to get. So I will, I am going to die cut these. Oh, um, I'm going to just die cut the scribbly ones. Um, you all know how to die cut. But I'm going to put it together with um, my spray stained backgrounds and we'll make a beautiful card with just die cut pieces. So that's. Aww. You can never have enough cover plates. Oh, I that. love cover plates too. Yes. How pretty. More has been added to the cart. Oh, the mystical in the opulent cardstock packs have been added to the cart. Nice. Yeah, cover plates are great. That's an easy, like spray a background, cut it out, and then like boom, done, right? Can you pass me the little coffee cup ones? Yes, because I grabbed it. Ooh. We both want that one. We both want that one. What else do we have here? This is the Eileen Hull one. Um, Heart Mandala. This is really cute too. This, we have ordered this in many times. Library pocket ATC card with tabs. Yeah. On the front of a card or in an art journal or even a pocket on a scrapbook page, right? Oh, for your journaling. Yep. Love that idea. Or you could throw a gift card in there if yep. it's inside a card. Yep. Okay, this one, I know I've been hesitating, but I'm pretty sure it's coming home with me today. I have seen the cutest, cutest ideas on Pinterest with this one. Yeah. This is um, Paper Cut Cafe. Seriously? That's adorable. It's so cute. Aww. Like with all my sprayed backgrounds, I'm going to make tons of cups. Oh, yeah. Like, and just a hello card. Send a Starbucks gift card in there. You betcha. This one has been really cool. Some of the variations created with yeah, this, this one. Yeah, this looks like this in the package, and I would certainly follow the package, but I would also mix and match. Of course, like look at the hearts. Like you just get like different shapes in there too. Yeah. Don't yeah. let that, you know, sway you. This is abstract faces. Yep. 
And this has also been very popular. You betcha. Uh, and this is framed tags. Right. Do you have this one? I have uh, framed labels. And the oh. cool thing about these is if you actually ink, you actually, it's kind of like a better press scenario. Yes, it is. If you actually ink around um, the die as you pu then put it through, it does leave this. It leaves the border for yes, you. Yes, it takes care of that for you. Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it today. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely go to Tim Holtz. I was just going to say, he was the one that made me go, oh, wow, oh, that is I cool. wouldn't have known. Yeah, wouldn't exactly. Have known. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So anyways, with your sprays, of course, remember to use your mixed media cardstock so it maintains its shape. It is made for these kind of, you know, um, mediums. Definitely a must. Always look at the gloss sprays. How fun are those? Love the sheen and shine on those. And yeah, get out your sprays. Easy peasy. Make it happen. Do some stenciling, just some even spraying for your backgrounds. Build your layers. We encourage you to do all of the things. And we've been here a little while. We've talked about the things. Don't forget the Dynamic Duo Demo Deal is on today and tomorrow. And again, it's 33% off on your Sizzix um, dies and stencils. Shop in-store or online. And we'll be back in three weeks. If you have more ideas for us, please pop them in the comments. And we are going to start ensuring we incorporate cards and scrapbooking ideas. Absolutely. High five.